It's a one-two punch for the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office. Budget cuts put a strain on the already strapped staff, and now a sudden surge of resignations has made their workload even heavier. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live outside Metro Corps with the story and whether this shortage is affecting cases. Diane, District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg says Metro Court is busier than ever, and she has fewer staff members than ever to handle the mounting caseload. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Turnover is nothing new for the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office. It employs more than 300 people. We call it the domino effect. It is just constantly happening. But the one division that handles the largest number of cases recently experienced a round of resignations, leaving the office in a crunch. Normally, about 23 attorneys handle cases strictly in Metro Court. Those are misdemeanor cases for crimes like drug possession, DWIs, and thefts. Seven attorneys from that department have left since July. We've had attorneys leave um, for family illnesses. We've had several of those grant um, positions that we ran out of money for, so those positions basically ended. Employees are also jumping ship for better pay. Brandenburg admits the salary for entry-level positions is low, not by choice, by budget restraints. A starting attorney in our office doesn't get paid what a starting police officer gets paid. About $41,000. Even supervisors in the department who normally don't try cases had to take on full dockets. We've never had to do that in my memory over the past 10 years. Brandenburg says her staff is already low due to state mandated budget cuts. Our caseload is increasing, our workload um, is, is tremendous. It was tremendous before the financial crisis. So what we're asking people to do is do a little bit more, take on more responsibility, um, and don't expect to be paid for it. She says cases are getting full attention, but when it comes to offering more plea deals or dropping cases? We're constantly evaluating that. Right now, we're, we're doing the job that I think the public deserves us to do. The office has hired six new attorneys to fill those vacancies, but the problem is that they all have to go through weeks of training before they can handle cases on their own. Brandenburg says some of those new attorneys are now handling their own cases. Some are still in training, and one will start their first date tomorrow morning. Back to you. Okay, Alex. Brandenburg says they are fighting future budget cuts and are applying for grants to help hire more attorneys.